The leader of the opposition has made quite a stir recently, but does everyone who perhaps picks up a newspaper or watches the evening news really know anything about Mr Corbyn in terms of what he stands for or against? What sort of political creature is he? Well, here is a selection of Jeremy Corbyn quotes for your consideration. Best to hear what the man himself has to say rather than allowing ourselves to be swayed by conservative rhetoric or propaganda, wouldn't you agree? Okay, quote. Let's defend the principle of a society that cares for everyone and everyone cares for everyone else. Nuclear weapons are not a defence. The common good is the aspiration of all of us. We challenge the narrative that only the individual matters and the collective is irrelevant. Instead, we say the common good is the aspiration of all of us. Going to war creates a legacy of bitterness and problems. Let us be a force for change in the world, a force for humanity in the world, a force for peace in the world, and a force that recognises we cannot go on like this with grotesque levels of global inequality, grotesque threats to the environment all around the world, without the rich and powerful governments stepping up to the plate to make sure our world becomes safer and better. And those people don't end up in poverty, in refugee camps, wasting their lives away. We can win an awful lot of people into the political spectrum by offering something that is radical. It's worth remembering that austerity politics enrich the already wealthy and restructures society into something more resembling pre-war Britain rolling back the gains made since the introduction of the welfare state. Legal aid is fundamental to giving everybody in this country access to justice. If someone walked along any high street anywhere in London, and probably anywhere in the country, and looked into a letting agency, they would see a sign saying, no benefits here. In other words, anyone in receipt of a state benefit is not allowed to apply for a private rented flat from that agent. That seems blatant discrimination against a very large number of people and ought to be outlawed. We cannot be content with the state of the EU as it stands, but that does not mean walking away, but staying to fight together for a better Europe. Okay then, a fair few quotes there. What Corbyn wants to do is renationalize railways and utilities. He's about ending austerity blocking welfare cuts. He wants the UK to withdraw from NATO and he wants to create a national education service like the NHS, right? Um, NES, if you will. He's a Republican. He favours the abolition of the monarchy and he supports the idea of Northern Ireland rejoining the Republic of Ireland. He's been an MP for 32 years, North Islington being his constituency, so no lack of experience. 
yeah. Let me finish here by saying whether you feel a Corbyn-led Labour Party is a viable alternative to Tory rule or not, it's wise to try and learn about an individual from multiple sources, from a variety of perspectives, and look at what he says himself. Look at his behaviour. Look at the causes he favours. And ask the question, is he on the right side of history?